Today on Logan Lee Adventures. After traveling solo almost a whole month without my boyfriend, I'm finally flying to Tokyo to see Yurun. He's been in Japan traveling with his friends for their annual trip. We've been Skyping every single day, but I'm beyond missing him. I'm flying out in business class with Japan Airlines. But first, I check out into the Qantas business class lounge. And I'm in. And I can finally chill before my flight. My first business class flight. But in this Qantas lounge. It's pretty nice. I'm impressed by the design. It is contemporary but subtle and clearly influenced by Hong Kong itself. Being granted express entry for customs and having my own counter for business class check in was just the start of the experience. The perk starts before the perks in flying business, with pre perk like lounges like Qantas. Business class and first class lounges like these are the ultimate relaxation area, a place where all the goodies are free and unlimited, whether that's the lounge faster than the rest of the airport Wi Fi, the wine, the champagne, and all the dining in between. It's all included in my ticket, but Yurun and I also travel with status that has been accumulated over time. Alright, guys, so we are going lounge hopping in Hong Kong Airport. Okay, I'm in the elevator going upstairs to the lounge. I'm really stoked about it. And we have a new bar here, so we're gonna see. For frequent travelers, through Hong Kong, Cathay Pacific, the Wing Business Class Lounge is basically a second home with an on-demand dining, barista-made coffee, and full bartender service topped up by French champagne, all complimentary of course. If I want to work and be productive, there's Cathay Pacific signature soulless chairs and IMAX throughout the lounges. Cathay Pacific iconic nude bar is certainly where my body's magnetically pulled towards. There's a range of items made fresh to order and I want everything. I receive a buzzer while I wait for my order, but in keeping with the tranquility of having no boarding calls, they'll merely flashly bright and not beep when my order is ready. The noodle bar here is amazing. These are dandan noodles, which is the peanut broth. And they're really thin noodles, but oh, yeah. they're so yum. This is actually my second bowl so far. There's also buffet spreads in every corner, regularly bringing out fresh food. I love how there's this gorgeous black and white marble scheme that is designed for the lounge in between the noticeable Pan Asian inspired wood. Everything about this lounge feels up scale. Also, I love that there's 24 private shower suites, just in case I want to freshen up before my flight. Casual. Guys, this place is so amazing. Look at this. There's no coat hangers. <laughs> Get my own shower stall for before my flight. Oh, this is so sick. And like there's tons of showers there as well. So, I almost missed final call from the flight. I'm pretty sure I'm the last one. And now I'm being escorted. That's the downfall of those beautiful lounges. So, we ran out of time. Now we have to run to our gate. Down there. We can make it. <laughs> I'm literally like the last one. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, making it. Thank yes, you. this way. Thank you. Uh, third window seat. Okay. Uh, and lofty. Wow. Guys, this is incredible. I can believe this is amazing. Look at this. With Japan Airlines. I have so much leg room that I can't reach. That's how much leg room I have. 
this huge screen. Magazine section, blanket. So much space. We turn out everybody. As you can see. Nice view as well. I always, always have to say we don't see it. It is coat hangers. Can't believe I'm in this size class. It's my first time buying this. It's, <laughs> it's a surreal feeling. <sighs> Do you hear that? <laughs> Literally, I'm the last person on the plane. <laughs> Can't believe I almost missed my call. <laughs> I can have different support for different parts of my body on this chair and I can even go and lay down as a bed if I want to. This is crazy. So that's it. Awesome. Yes. It's unbelievable that I'm flying to Japan to reunite with my boyfriend. We just began dating a few months ago, May to be exact, and four months later we've been hopping around different countries, different continents, from Canada to Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, the Maldives, Sri Lanka, woo! And now we're continuing our travels together in Tokyo. I'm so done with WhatsApp messaging and seeing him only through a video screen. I can't wait to just touch and feel him in my arms again. I love how attentive the flight attendant is, even using my name, my actual name for every interaction. Right after takeoff, we got eucalyptus infused towels. Going all the way down, now let's see what this bed feature is all about. Flying business class is literally me living in Aladdin's a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. Anyways, you get it. Is this a new obsession? Yup, it's like I had just had a hit of something that I am now tumbling down a very addictive path in. I have been on a thousand flights, but now I feel like my experience being in the sky is another level. I guess this is what they mean when they say it's not just about the destination, it's also about the journey. In business class, there's a huge menu, a few pages including wine, champagne, and for Japan Airlines, you can order from the Japanese menu and the Western inspired menu. Seeing how Japanese food is one of my favorite in life, I got so giddy like a little schoolboy when I was served a huge bento box as my in flight meal. So amazing! I don't even know where to start with this bento box. First of all, this is so cute, and there's just so many different types of food. I have steamed chicken with grated radish and lotus root, stuffed with spicy cod roe, fried eggplant, and miso, simmered fried sea bass, yuba cake with simmered shrimp, eel roll with thin omelette, seaweed and cheese chicken cake, lily bar ball, ball and grilled shiitake mushroom, pickled flan flavored radish, simmered carrot, and chili savory egg custard. Yes, that's literally everything that's packed onto my plate. I mean, you can't get more authentic than this. I'm still admiring how huge yet private the business cabin feels in Japan Airlines. It feels like each of us have our own little private pod and the design clearly looks like its own little spaceship we're in too. Hey guys, so we finished that wonderful meal and now I'm in that mode, fully reclining that mode. Power Rangers that I'm watching uh, before I go and take a little nap before I arrive in Tokyo, Japan. So I finally, finally get to reunite with my boyfriend, and that's the number one thing that I'm looking forward to the most. So these last two weeks, as you guys have watched and followed, it's been it's just been so fun. Everything from Indonesia to Hong Kong and then this amazing business class flight as well. Just they these have been just phenomenal experience that I'm really lucky and grateful to have as in my early twenties. But 
<laughs> I mean, as great as they were, as fun as it was, honestly, I just miss theater so much. I, I love him, and I just want to be with him again. And these two weeks have been, has, you know, been tough for me. And just because I know how good it is, and how great and amazing it is being with him, just us two together, that being separate and apart is kind of sucked, but I had a great time nevertheless, and now I'm just ready to reunite with him. He's going to meet me in the airport and pick me up there. I, I honestly can't wait to just to see him again and just to meet him again. That's, it's like a birthday wish coming true. I know, I know, two weeks, it's only been two weeks, but you guys have seen, you guys have been watching my videos, you guys have seen how wild and intense and just how much has happened in the last two weeks. That's half a month. It's half a month without the love of my life. And now that I get to be back with the love of my life, I couldn't be more, like, ugh, just, even this, I want to cut it with him. I just want him to, like, squeeze it right here. I'll get to reunite with him really soon. So I think a little a little mid-afternoon sleepy, so I'm definitely gonna finish this movie and then pull this guy down and get this news. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys in Tokyo. Bye guys. Next upcoming videos will all be about Japan, Japan, Japan! So subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. See you guys in Tokyo!